Lisa. <clears throat> See, we got to that point. We didn't need Susan. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> oh yeah, so I never got a response to my text. Okay. So I tried calling them uh, three times. The first time it rang long enough to go to voicemail. Uh, the second and third times it only rang once or twice and then went to voicemail. You know, like he ignored the call. Um, <clears throat> So that kind of was puzzling. So I called the, the phone at the office uh, instead of his cell phone. Called that two or three times. Uh, and it rang long enough to go to voicemail. Okay, so maybe he's not at the office. Maybe he went somewhere else. Uh, so I tried calling him again. And he still didn't get it. And, uh, so I... I and he had taken uh, my mom's car, not his truck, um, which, you know, made sense if he was just going to go to work for a while and then come back. You know, the truck takes up a lot of gas, so that's not enough. Uh, so I took the truck and I drove around town for maybe an hour looking for him, just checking every place I could think of that he would go. And I couldn't find him. I didn't know where he was. So, you know, I stopped somewhere and called my mom and said, I'm looking all over a bunch of places. I don't know where he's at. So I'm just going to you know, work my way north through town and check wherever I can think of, and then I'll be home. And she said, okay, well, don't stay up too long. Um, I ended up, I, I texted uh, Barton's wife, our, our boss, mm -hmm. and, and asked her if she had heard anything. And so she called, and she didn't really understand what I was talking about. And I said, well, he left this morning, and he's not back, and I can't get a hold of him. I don't know where he is. Uh, and, you know, try to, just trying to figure out where he went. And she said, and she asked Barton, and he said, no, he hasn't heard anything. So she, uh, she gave everybody else who works at the office uh, a call and, and asked them to, you know, keep an eye out or, listen to, you know, if, if they hear anything mm -hmm. about where he is, to, to give us a call. Um, so I went home and waited again for, you know, actually at that point it was, it was only like another 20 minutes because everybody else had started eating. Mm -hmm. and I was, you know, I wanted to wait a little bit longer, but, you know, there came a point where I was just like, okay. this point it's his fault. He left and he's not answering us and that's not okay. Um, so I went ahead and started eating and you know a little while later by the time we were finished he came back and uh, didn't say anything. I mean at this point I was really afraid of what was going to happen. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if he was going to explode again or what but um, Nothing. I mean, at that point, we had, we, um, you know, we had packed up all the leftovers into containers and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he just came in. He found the food, threw some on a plate, stuck it in the microwave. Like, that. like nothing happened, and I just, I didn't understand it. And so you still don't know what happened. I still don't know where he was. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been kind of afraid to ask him because I don't know what his reaction is. I don't know if he's going to take it as an attack, you know, like, where were you, why weren't you home, mm -hmm. or if he's going to take it as, you know, just trying to figure out what happened. It's, like it's, it's just a general concern of where were you, why weren't yeah, you home. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what I'm trying to figure out, it is what, what reason did he have for, for running off and not being there? Because he obviously wasn't working. Is there? Is it something that we did to upset him? Is it just he wasn't hungry and didn't want to be tempted by all the food? <laughs> Some, you know, <laughs> some, something innocent like that, or is it? You know, it, did we do something wrong that made him not want to be there? I don't know. 
I don't like it. It's not fun. I just want to hold you right now. I'm not crying. It's okay. I know, but I just want to hold I'm almost crying. Hearing the story. Next time we do this, I need to like bring a water bottle with me. Is your mouth getting dry from all the talking? My throat. Yeah. I can see like licking your lips constantly. Yeah? Yeah. Am I doing that? A little bit. Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> but no like I feel like I've digressed a lot. Well, no, I feel what like. What was your last question? In, in How my mom influences <laughs> me. <laughs> wow, we went really far. About your mother, that is. Yeah, yeah. definitely. She cooks dinner a lot. <laughs> she cooks dinner uh, sometimes. But okay, so holidays mean a lot to him, and they, I mean they have in the past anyway, and so Thanksgiving yeah. was different. What do you expect from this Christmas? Oh, I don't know. You think it'll be another thing? Like well, he doesn't, he doesn't work at the news guard, so the whole falling on a Tuesday thing doesn't matter anymore. Well, um, but the whole possibility of him just leaving again in the morning and... I don't know. I, hope that happen. I mean, if he does just decide to leave, then... I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to react to that. What's your home life like? Like, does it feel... <laughs> is, it, is it comfortable? Like, do you feel safe? Do you feel... No. no. I'm not even going to let you finish the question. I'm just going to say no. And, and this, is, uh, this is something I've thought about before. You know, this, is, this is why I get involved in so many things. Because you don't want to go home. Because I don't want to be home. I want to have, have any number of other places to be besides home. I want to get home after everybody else has gone to bed. So that I don't have to. Do you want to interact? Yeah, basically. Um, which doesn't happen a lot anymore. I tend to, I tend to go to work late at night now, um, you know, in the afternoons, so I have time uh, to do homework and things. Um, so I'll get home, like last night I got home at like 11.30, and my mom is still up. Uh, so, you know, I can whine at her for five or ten minutes about how crappy my day was, or how good my day was, or whatever. Oh, I was picturing you throwing wine at her. Just wine at her. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how you got that. I'm trying to do anything that like, makes me like happy right now. <laughs> Not that it makes me happy, but like throwing wine at my mother makes you happy. <laughs> something is funny because this is this is gonna be really sad. Um. But like you come home sometimes, and your mom's still up, and you can just you know have a, a little talk with her and. Yeah, just for five or ten minutes before she goes to bed, and and that's that's okay. But you know, having to see my dad at home is just not a good thing. I feel like I feel like he doesn't like being there, um, which makes talking to him while he's there kind of weird. Because you have a sense that he doesn't want to be there. Yeah. I mean, I feel like whenever he is home anymore, he spends a lot of time, uh, he, he has a sewing room where he makes kites and things, uh, and he's always kind of complaining about how he doesn't get to spend enough time in there. But then I notice when he does spend time in there, he's not really doing anything. You know, he, he talks about he wants to spend more time in his sewing room making kites, and then when I do see him in there, he's just kind of sitting, and he'll have something. He has, a, he has a little computer in there just to, you know, watch Netflix on or have something playing, but he's just kind of sitting there. Huh? Baby. Oh. Did we run out of time? Oh. Video recording stopped. The maximum size of the video has been reached, so... Ha! Oh, we Sorry. only have a couple of minutes anyway. Can I video? All right. Okay. Uh, Bing. Bing. No. <laughs> but like he doesn't. PC. Sorry. But like. <laughs> but you don't like being home because your dad. I don't want to say just because of my dad. Um. You know, I don't like being home because there's not a lot for me to do at home. Mm. It's you know, <clears throat> sleep, eat. But 
it, but otherwise, you know, I can be a lot more productive other places. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the whole thought of my dad not wanting to be there as well doesn't help. Um, another thing that I, I'm struggling to figure out um, which really I feel like I shouldn't be concerned with I try to convince myself a lot that I shouldn't be concerned with but, um, he doesn't sleep with my mom a lot of the time like he'll sleep in the living room on the couch almost every night has um, the relationship between your mom and your dad changed? I don't think so. I feel like it hasn't. But, you know, there came a point where he just started, you know, I mean, I mean, he does like to go to sleep a lot earlier than my mom. My mom will stay up till midnight most days. And my dad likes to be in bed before nine, you know, because he gets up ridiculously. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he just naturally wakes up at 4 a.m. <laughs> so so he tries to get to bed as early as possible so he gets a reasonable amount of sleep um, and my mom will be up till midnight watching TV uh, in, in their bedroom so you know sometimes he'll he'll fall asleep early in the evening on the couch in the living room which is understandable that that makes sense but then there are other times where you know midnight or some odd hour, I'll be up doing homework and he'll leave his bedroom and come sleep in the living room. And I just, I don't understand it. It doesn't, you know, they don't seem to be at odds with each other, mm -hmm. or at least not any more than they have been regularly. Yeah. And, and there's nothing unusual. Did we find a good stopping point? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Did we get through? How many of your questions did we get through? Oh, almost all of them. Just there are two more. Oh, okay, just crap. Stand up and come here. It's going to give you a little help. Okay. This is the person who's actually hugged me back when I hugged you. I doubt that. Uh, You're exaggerating. I'm not, though, because rarely do you ever hug me back. 